a regular decagon is constructed using 10 spokes. Okay, now this is a decagon. Uh, a decagon is a polygon with 10 sides. Okay, so uh, there are 10 spokes here. The end of the spokes are 30 centimeters from each other. So it's this, this is the end of the spoke. The, the distance between the two ends is 30 centimeters. Calculate the area of the decagon using, giving reason for each step. Okay, now, if you want to find the area of this decagon, if you can find the area, suppose let me call this, this is the center of the decagon, so let me call this O, this is A, and this is B. So area of the decagon would be, how would you find area of a decagon on this figure? Area of decagon would be, if you find the area of this triangle, and and times it by 10 would give you the area of the decagon. I hope you can see the logic. Would be 10 times area of triangle AOB. So our focus, uh, so this problem uh, becomes only a problem of area of a triangle. Okay. Okay, so this is what I want to find, the area of this triangle. If I can find the area of this triangle, then it will... Uh, and times it by 10 will give you the area of this deck again. Okay, now for that, uh, can I find the angle, this angle? That's This is the interior angle uh, or angle at the center. So there are how many angles at the center? You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 angles. So this angle, so can I say angle A O B? What's the angle at the center? And the angle of the center is 360. So angle AOB would be 360 divided by 10. Okay, so the reason is angle angles at center. Angles at angles at a point, sorry, not center. Angles at a point is equal to 360 degree. So I've used that reason to figure out angle AOB. So you can see angle AOB is 360 divided by 10, which is 36 degrees. So this is 36 degrees. Now what I've done is this, I have taken this triangle. Imagine this triangle is taken out here, and this is triangle AOB. So you've got A here, B here, and O here. So this angle is 36, okay. So now to find the area of the triangle, so what's the formula for area of the triangle? So area of triangle, area of any triangle, is half base times height. Area of a triangle is half times base times height. Okay, so this is your base, this is your base. We only want to find, we know what is AB. Okay, this is 30 centimeters. This is 30 centimeters. We need to find out the height. So, so let me drop a height from O to AB. Okay, so this is the height from, so I'm calling this the height. Okay, so now use your logic. So this is a right angle triangle. Okay, so this we know, this we are splitting this into, so this angle would be half of 36, so this is 18 degrees, and this would also be 18, because I've split this into two equal triangles. This is 18 degrees. So this is 90 minus 18, which is, seven, this angle would be 72 degrees. This is 72 degrees. This would also be 72 degrees. Okay, so can you see these two triangles are equal triangles? The angles, all the angles are equal. So using, so we can say, let me write here, uh, angle. So this is, again, this two, the spokes are also equal. This is equal to this. Okay, so you can say triangle AOB becomes what type of triangle? triangle AOB is a isosceles triangle because the sides are equal. So you can say this is 72 and this is 72 
because they are base angles of, of isosceles triangle. So let's check that on the calculator. So I went 180. Uh, this is 180 minus 90. This is 90, and I'm going to take away 18. will give you 72. So this is 72, and this is 72. So triangle AOB is an isosceles. I'll write in short, isosceles triangle. OK? So this implies your base angles are equal. Base angles are equal. So this is one reason. OK, so as these, so can I say, suppose let me name this M. Let me name this M. So I hope you can see that this would be 15, and this would also be 15. OK, so this is triangle AMO. So let me tra draw triangle AMO outside so that you can see. I'm only looking at triangle AMO now. So this is triangle AMO. This is a right angle. This is 72 degrees. OK. Uh, and this is, of course, 18. So we know this is how much? 15. So we want to find this this side, which is, so let me call that hypotenuse H, which is, uh, let me use a smaller eraser. So this is your H, your, hy your height, not the hypotenuse. So now we need to use Sokatoa. You've got an angle and you've got a side. So if you have an angle and a side, you can use Sokatoa. So this is so car. Now, these are abbreviation for three trig ratios. So this is called sine of an angle, sine of, suppose, sine of x. Sine x is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cos, C stands for cos of an angle, say I'll call the angle x, is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan of an angle, toa is opposite over adjacent. OK, so now, yeah, uh, let me, this will confuse you. Let me not call this H here, because H stands for hypotenuse here. So let me call this, say, A. No, again, A will confuse you. So let me call this, say, Y. Let us call this Y. And this is your X. This is your angle X. OK, so first we have to label the sides. So this is your angle X. So with respect to this angle, this is your opposite side, and this is your adjacent side. OK, so we are dealing with O and A. So which trig ratio uses O and A? Well, this is the trig ratio, TOA, or tan, is opposite over adjacent. So I'm going to write the trig ratio. So I can say tan X. 10 of x is equal to your opposite, or let me write the formula as it is, o, o, o divided by a, o divided by a. Now what is o? o is y, and what is a? a is 15 centimeters. Okay, so this becomes, this becomes 10 x is y over 15. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 15 or cross multiply. So if you cross multiply, you can say 15 times 10x is equal to y. Or oh, you're multiplying both sides by 15. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 15. So if you divide this side by 15, you have. Uh, Okay, sorry, you don't have to, sorry. I'm getting confused, aren't I? So this is, I should have written, what is x here? Let me delete this. So what is x? Instead of x, I could have written 17, 72 here, 72 degrees. So now cross multiply. So this implies 15 times 10, 72. 
is equal to y. Okay, so your y is equal to 15 times 1072. So now you have to get your calculators out. And if you have a graphic calculator, you should set this in degrees. Okay, so this is how you change the settings. Always look at your settings. Go to Setup or Shift Setup or Menu. And you scroll down to Angle. Your angle has to be in degrees. Okay, this is already in degrees, so I'll exit. And then I go 15 times 10. This is a 10 key, 72. Okay, that will give you your Y, which is 46.2 centimeters in 1 dp. So this is 46.2 centimeters in one decimal place. So your height is 46.2. Okay, so your area, your area is, area would become half times base. So instead of, so let me write half times base, your base is 15 and your height is 46.2. So this can be same, half is same as 0.5 times 15 times 46.2. So again, get your calculators out. So 0.5 times 15 times 46.2 will give you three okay you could have gone you could have instead of taking 15 that's area of this triangle so in, you could have taken the base as 30 that would have that would have given you the triangle of AOB so you can say area of triangle AOB area of triangle AOB this is for area of triangle AMO so I'm, I'll change this base to 30. Okay, so the base is 30 for triangle AOB and the hyper, your height is the same. So, where's my calculator? So, 0.5 times 30 times 46.2 will give you 693 centimeter squared. So, this is 693 centimeter squared. Okay, so this, therefore, you can say, therefore, area of decagon, area of decagon would be 10 times this, which is 10 times 693, which is 6930 centimeter squared. And that's the area of the decagon.